Well, uh, we started with the yard pond, and then Don thought it would be nice if we got some fish in the yard pond, which was, what, 10 inches to a foot deep, foot and a half deep. So oh, I went. We got goldfish. So I went down to the pet store and I bought feeder goldfish. Yep. About 15 of them for 11 bucks. And uh, I um, thought that they would stay small, and that's incorrect. We, we learned goldfish get very large, and that seemed to uh, plant the bug. Then Don was like, big fish are cool. We should get some bigger fish. We yeah, we got some koi. We got some koi. And, you know, it, it became apparent that the, the fish in the pond didn't match. We, we talked to some people that knew something about ponds. And, um, they came and, and took a look at it and they said, this, this isn't a koi pond. This isn't gonna work for you if you ultimately wanna have fish. We tried putting in filtration, a lot of filtration. and It was a very manual process. Multiple layers of, of bat filtration through waterfalls. And it would take hours and hours to clean them on the weekends. It, it just wasn't sustainable. We did a lot of research. We got online, looked at a lot of things. And as I was going through this process, <clears throat> we, we ran into uh, bead filters, bio bead filters, and started doing research on those. Um, started to realize that, you know, this idea of having lots of plants growing and, and rocks in your pond and all of that kind of stuff wasn't really conducive to I think a, a healthy, long-term koi pond. As we did the research, Sacramento koi uh, filtration systems, their bundled systems really started to emerge as, as uh, the system that a lot of businesses used. It appeared like hotels, malls, um, other commercial settings. They had turned to Sacramento koi's filtration systems. That's when I contacted you guys, yeah. Said, okay, I, I think that's what we need to do. So we came out and literally tore out your old pond, started all over again. Yeah, it was a, a it was yeah. a scrap, <laughs> scrap and go. Do you find the beautiful thin layer of green algae on the walls of your new pond easier to take care of? It, it's not only way simpler than what we had with our, our landscape pond, it's just easy. It's not hard at all. Um, it's set up to be user friendly. Uh, it, it's moving a few levers, flipping a few switches every couple of weeks, and you're done. Well, you never have enough fish. <laughs> well, they're friendly. We, you know, we can hand feed them. They come over and, and uh, hang out with us. Um, I think how pretty they are too. Yeah, all the different colors and patterns and everything. I couldn't I could not have told you one name of one koi when we started. And, you know, now we've learned yeah, you know, what a, what a Ginrin Chagoe is and you know, how all the various Matsuba. different Matsubas and different fish and what you look for and why you don't. It's been it's been fun. I just let him uh, do all the maintenance and care. <laughs> I just get to sit back and enjoy it all. <laughs> she likes to feed him. <laughs> I like to feed him. She likes to hand feed him. Yeah. So, and just watch him. And sometimes we'll sit in the the hot tub back behind there and you know put our head on the thing and look over. We'll have the light on. We'll look over and just watch him swim around from that. Yeah. It's fun to sit in the hot tub and watch them at night. They're relaxing. Relaxing to watch. I love it. It's tons yeah. easier to take care yeah. of and far more effective. <laughs>